You sleep okay? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a little tricky getting used to the nights. Trying to put the camera in the middle of the action is what is what the director asks me. He's trying to get this kind of fluidity to to keep the audience immersed into the action. So I was the camera on the time. Everything is handheld. Everything is. I would say probably half half handheld or on the gimbal, but because you want to be with them, you want to be with the characters. And even if we know we have a rough plan, we know they're going to come out. We know the guy's going to be on the floor or on the bed or they go inside, they put him on a bed in a hospital. There was always surprises. So the only way was to, to give the camera a possibility to adapt. We decided to new shoot large format because we wanted to be 4K or above. And because we need a mobile camera, we need a small camera. So we went on the Mini LF. Of course, we need the lenses that um, are fast enough and uh, with a good minimum focus. Again, for the same reasons, I knew that I was going to be really close to either the faces or the actions, the details. So I thought the movie cam lenses were the, guys, the good um, middle point. You know, some texture, some softness for the skin. So for this, I think they, they have the good, for me, the good combination between something that has texture and something that is still manageable in, in this kind of thing where you, you, know, you don't control everything. Suddenly, there's another car coming and you're in front of headlights. You need to still be able to keep some contrast. Because of the bigger sensor, then you're kind of one step longer in the lens for the same field of view, which I like because then you compress a bit that direction and you stay wide in, in, in the horizontal direction. I wanted to make sure that I was able to find a good distance and still being able to give him this close-up that he's using a lot really close, but not here. So we, we did find the distance and actually I think we used a lot of the 15 min in the, in the set. The good thing with the Mini LF is that I know that I can play with the, with the um, um, EI, you know, the exposure index, and I know I can get the exposure that I want. And I pushed it up a bit. We need a, quite a few scenes at 1600 or 2000, um, and it works perfectly well. It fits. I mean, it's just like, like we used to do. We used to take a 500 ASA stock and push it one stop. I'm doing the same. I'm based on 1000. Normally, that's my base, even at daylight. And then I go up one stuff if I need to. And for this, I mean, the Mini LF or the Alexa 35, and come, you can you can really match your shots. Uh, absolutely no problem. And for this, the the Ari Row is great because you have all the colors. And uh, probably next time I use the Mini LF, I'll try to do Ari Row and and reveal. <laughs> that was that's gonna be very interesting. After using the reveal with the Alexa 35, I want to try it on the Mini LF now. Was that the first time you saw somebody go? The whole point is to challenge yeah. yourself, to push the limits. Because from pushing the technical limits also, you can push the actors, you can you create a, an environment where everybody's uh, trying to do better. And we have the tool to do better. We have great cameras, we have great lenses, we have you know, versatile lighting. Now we can you put a light, you can dim it down, you can change color. Let's push it. Let's see. Atlantic Avenue, Vermont Street, 45 Young for the asthmatic. 45 Young. Got a 63 year old male, difficulty breathing. 